Hey, what's up? It's Jeptyon Mutai here, and in this video, I'll show you three ways to compress GIF videos or GIF videos or animations. Stay tuned. Hi, 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 hi. This is Jeptyon Mutai, freelance and business. If you are here for the first time, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, let's get right into today's video. The recommended file size of GIF video animations on various website platforms vary. As a video editor, it's good to know how to compress GIF videos or animations. In some websites, any GIF video file size will play, while in others, GIF videos whose file size is more than 5 MPs will not play. If the final file size of the animated GIF video you've produced is larger than the site recommendation, how will you compress it without losing the video details? In this video, I'll share with you three ways of compressing GIF videos. The first one is reducing video pixels. This is the first option you have to consider. What is your video editing dimensions? For instance, if you want HD video and your editing dimensions are 1920 by 1080, you may have to consider reducing the dimensions to that of a smaller version of HD. In this case, the file size will be 1280 by 720. This will dramatically reduce the final GIF video file size by half. If you're using Camtasia Studio, go to Project Settings and select 1280 by 720 HD. Most sites recommend a GIF video of 1200 pixels, so this means that you will reduce the dimensions from 1280 by 720 to 1200 by 676 pixels. The second way of compressing GIF video is reduce rendering frame rate. Popular rendering frame rate for GIF videos is 15 frames per second. The highest frame rate recommended is 30 frames per second and minimum is 1 frame per second. The higher the frame rate, the higher the size. The lower the frame rate, the lower the file size. In the past, I have found out that 5 frames per second is very effective in dramatically reducing the video file size without the final GIF file lagging when you play. To do this, in your rendering settings, click on the frame rate drop down menu and select 5. The third way of compressing GIF video is using free GIF compressors available online. There are many GIF compressors available online today. If you've tried the options above and your GIF video file size is still larger than the recommended size, you may have to consider the third option of using the GIF compressor. I have tried and used a free GIF video compressor found here. The results was very good. I was able to reduce my GIF video file size by 68% without losing the image quality. And finally, the bonus option. If all the above options of compressing your GIF video file fails, you may want to consider reducing your GIF video file duration. If your GIF video file is say 60 seconds, you can try reducing it by 5 seconds and see the difference. Another way of doing this is to speed up the video on the timeline. This will help reduce the file size by slightly a small percentage. In conclusion, learning how to compress GIF video files directly from your video editing suite is the best way I recommend. I know there are many other ways that one can do this. Do you know of any other ways of compressing GIF videos or GIF videos that I have missed to mention on this video? Please share it and let me know in the comment section below here. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And until next time, bye bye and take care. My name is Jeptyony Mutai. Follow me on Twitter at Jeptyony.
Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com.